So what you saw right now was the tape return mechanism of a, of a Mark II Mellotron. It's a double loop of tapes that gets fed into a box behind here when you play the tapes and then there's a spring down below that pulls the tape back once you release the keys, so to say. And this is the motor that drives through a belt the capstan axle, so that is kept hopefully at a constant speed. And this Mark II is fairly unusual because it's got a DC motor and this was fitted sometimes in the late 60s. And this it, though is a new motor control because the old one broke down. So this has a dual speed feature. And then the power supply of the Mark II has to be fairly big because it has to drive all three of these motors and then normally even two, uh, two power amps, but this one only has one power amp. The other one was taken out together with the reverb and in the, in the, sometimes in the late 60s when it was sold to Electra Studios in Los Angeles where the Doors were using it on demos and a bunch of other bands at that place because you don't want to move Mark II around too much. And here are the two motor controls for the station selection. So these are um, for the 60s fairly high-tech units that both cycles with high speed and then inches when it gets close to a certain uh, station. And uh, a heavy transformer and uh, this was a bit of a nightmare to carry around for the bands in the 60s. And you have the two 12-inch speakers which are uh, part of the sound of this instrument like it was used by uh, Rolling Stones and, uh, and King Crimson and uh, Moody Blues and the Beatles. And...